everyone from Running Shoes Guru. This is Sarah and today I'm here to talk to you about running accessories. As usual, this video is not sponsored. These are accessories that we have purchased, used and loved throughout the years. So running is easy, right? Grab a pair of running shoes, some fitting sports clothing, follow a training plan and go. Yes, this is all true, but at the same time, there are some little investments you can make to improve your running experience. In a world full of running accessories that are either cheap or ridiculously expensive, we are showing you today five items that do what they promise. They do it well and they are priced right. Lock laces are a replacement for your normal running shoe laces. They are better in every way and I cannot believe they are not a standard issue on premium running shoes. Given the $8 list price and the fact you can actually get them for cheaper if you get a two pack for example, I see no reason for you or anybody else not trying a pair. We first stumbled upon Goodig sunglasses a couple of years ago. Rodero was so impressed with their quality and value, did I mention their $25, they decided to give a pair as a gift to all the reviewers on the team that Christmas. They're that good. So what makes the Gooder running specific sunglasses? These are things like no slip construction, so they won't slip off your face even when you're sweaty. No bounce, they are snug and light, so won't bounce with your running. And all are polarised, so all lenses prevent any glare. They're 100% UVA and UVB resistant. And if this wasn't enough, and I can't stop mentioning the $25 price, they come in literally dozens of colours and styles, from very neutral black to some outrageous colour combinations. We won't get into the reason why it is important to train with heart rate measurements, just trust us that it is. You might want a chest heart rate strap in one of two situations. Either you run with your phone, so it's great at tracking you with GPS, letting you listen to your favourite songs or podcasts, but it can't track your heart rate. Or you run with a GPS running watch and either it does not have a wrist-based heart rate tracking or it does and you don't find it accurate enough. So your phone uses Bluetooth to talk to accessories wirelessly and your GPS running watch uses a standard called ANT+. The Wahoo ticker can connect both with Bluetooth and ANT+, meaning that you'll be able to connect it to your phone and the day if you decide to buy a GPS running watch, it will be able to connect to that too. Add to this the fact that it costs less than what a strap from Garmin or Polar costs, and you have a winner in your hands or around your chest. This is another item that I've been using literally for years, and I still believe it's the absolute best in its category. The quad lock system is comprised of two main parts, a phone case with a special attachment on the back and a lightweight armband to which the phone attaches to. So why is this better than the rest? First of all, the locking mechanism is easy to put on and off, but it's damn tough when it is locked on. Your phone won't jump up and down and it'll be there ready to be used if you need it to. Secondly, the quad lock system is more than an armband. You can find every kind of attachment to then use your phone with your bike, motorbike, car, etc. When you start looking into GPS running watches, you can really get caught up in the race to the latest technology and can end up spending close to $1,000. I'm looking at you, Garmin Fenex 6X Pro Solar Titanium Carbon DLC. To me, this is frankly absurd. 
there is a tiny number of athletes that really need that kind of information. Here comes the Garmin Forerunner 45. Introduced in 2019, and packing a punch while managing to stay under $200. The Forerunner 45 will excel at one thing, which is tracking your running workouts, both in terms of GPS, so therefore the speed, distance, pace, and heart rate, therefore effort, recovery, heart rate zone training, etc. It won't store your music locally, and it won't track a multi-sport event like a triathlon. Its screen isn't comparable to an Apple Watch, but it is legible, clear, and meant to maximise battery life, which is four days of standby time and 14 hours of GPS tracking, which is a lot. If you're undecided about what GPS running watch to buy, but you want something that you can use for running training, get the Forerunner 45. As a bonus, it includes a number of running workouts from some of the most famous running coaches in the world for any distance from 5K up to a marathon. This is all for today. Do you have a favorite running accessory? We're always looking for the latest and greatest. So leave a comment if you have a suggestion for us. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We have plenty more videos planned for the next few weeks and your support really does make all the difference. Until next time, bye.